What's going on everybody? It's your boy RNG Crypto here with you for a quick video guys. I just want to give you a quick tutorial. I get a lot of questions on how to move uh, things from different chains to Velas guys and I, I'm gonna talk about this guys. This is in relation to Wagyu Swap. Everybody's trying to get a, a take advantage of it guys. Wagyu Swap is yielding crazy APY but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is how to move from Binance, Ethereum, uh, and uh, some other chains like Polygon over onto Velas, guys. So, for example, uh, the simple moves are going to be Binance. Most people are buying their VLX on Binance, but guess what? You can actually not trade VLX using swaps. This is a tool which I'm going to leave a link in the description below. This is a simple tool. They have not yet added VLX, so I cannot simply send VLX from Binance <coughs> to Velas, guys. I actually have to either sell it for something else like BUSD, WAG, BitOrbit uh, to use this tool. Guys, if you're looking to use, have more functionality in terms of the tokens that you're trading, uh, just know for swaps, you're pretty much going to be limited to, um, let me pull that out, BUSD, WAC, and BitOrbit on Binance and Velas. If you're sending from Velas or Binance, those are the three tokens. And once you go to Ethereum, now you only have USDC as your token that you can send over. Uh, keep in mind, you're going to get charged uh, relatively large uh, gas fees for this. So if I were to send USDC uh, from Ethereum to or bridge USDC on Ethereum over to Velas USDC, I could use this platform, uh, but it's going to it's going to actually do Velas USDT. So it's going to do USDC on Ethereum to Velas USDT. I can use this platform, but um, it's going to charge Ethereum what I or yeah gas fees in Ethereum. What I like to use is the Velas wallet. And for that, guys, uh, it's relatively simple once you have the hang of it, guys. So you got to make sure the very first thing up here at the top where the search bar is, where I'm typing right now, to the right of that search bar is an icon. Click that icon. That's going to bring up all the custom tokens that you can add to your interface. I've already added most of mine, but you can see here there's some under the Ethereum right here. There's USDT Tether. Let's go ahead and add that one. So that now added USDT under my Ethereum uh, panel here on the left side that you can see I have Ethereum Network, then I have Ethereum, Tether, USD, USDC, uh, Velas ERC20. Okay, so this is the wallet you want to establish and uh, use to convert most of your tokens either from Binance or Ethereum into the Velas blockchain, guys. Uh, so just to give you a quick example, uh, I like to operate on PancakeSwap to avoid gas fees. At the very bottom, you see BSC Network. And again, I had to add all these tabs. And by the way, if you're if you're, for example, uh, using this to um, convert uh, Binance uh, BUSD into Velas BUSD, you have to make sure that you add Binance BUSD or, or and Velas BUSD on your wallet. So you got to go in here and you got to use it. You have to add it both on the Velas as well as on the Binance side, because otherwise, when you click on uh, Binance or BUSD here in the Binance network, this swap button over there on the in the middle of the screen where the, my balance is and the address and send and receive and there's a white large button that's a swap button it will not appear unless I also have by BUSD uh, selected for the Velas network so we got to make sure that we select that and you do that again by hitting the icon at the top to the right of the search bar and then finding it here hitting the, and clicking on it and it will automatically add it you make sure that click on all all of them so the, this process is going to apply for everything you can do it for ethereum i could convert ethereum into velas eth and then i can send that velas eth into my metamask and swap it on wagyu swap for example and that's what i'm doing with binance right now so busd uh, i'll send busd into my wallet address i would copy it here okay once i copy it then i go into my metamask and I would send BUSD to myself. So obviously to send that, I would need to be on the Binance network. I would find BUSD right here. I would send, paste the address in there, type in the BUSD that I want to send. I just sent one just for example sake, guys. I'm paying 21 cents to pay for it. Okay, and then going back into the Binance wallet, uh, it will eventually appear. Uh, it's relatively quick. It's Binance, so... Uh, it should pick, uh, show up here within the next minute or so. Uh, but guys, then once it actually appears in here, then I can click on this white swap button again in the middle of the screen. I'll click on that. Then here you can see I'm changing it from my wallet address within uh, the Velas wallet to Velas BUSD. Okay, that's the next line down. That's choose network. So I'm going from the wallet address assigned to my Velas wallet choosing a network which will be Velas BUSD and then to the, the Velas address which is my uh, BUSD address for the Velas BUSD which is up here 
Okay, so basically all I'm doing is sending that one dollar that's here now. Okay, you can see it. I'm, I'm going to send that to my Velas BUSD up here. So let me go in ahead and do that. So here, hit swap. Okay, I'm going again from Binance to Velas. Then I'm going to hit max here. I'm going to hit swap. And it's going to need B. Okay, so the minimum transaction is 100 BUSD. Uh, and this is actually what I wrote down to do this, guys. So you have to make sure that you are going to do a minimum of 100 BUSD if you're going to do BUSD swaps. Uh, Ethereum, the minimum is actually 1 ETH. I don't know about USDC and some of the others. Velas, I don't believe there is a minimum. Let's actually go ahead and click on that. So if you had Ethereum Velas, uh, the minimum is going to be 1 VLX. So Velas, the minimum is very low. Uh, so I'm sure, I'm sure the same thing is going to happen for uh, BEP or BEP20 or B Binance Smart Chain Velas. Let's go and look at that. And the minimum is there, 0.1 VLX. Okay, so you can see that uh, for um, BUSD and Ethereum, there's a minimum respectively for 100 BUSD and 1 Ethereum. Uh, for Velas itself, the token, it's going to be 1 or 0.1. And you can see that by just clicking in here and doing that yourself. Uh, this is getting lengthy, guys, but I wanted to show you that these are your options. Again, this is the Velas wallet. And you also have, don't forget, Swap's uh, interface or protocol to go in here and do quick swaps like WAG. If you wanted to get WAG over onto Velas real quick, you can do that. Um, you can only do it from Binance to Velas. You can't do it from Ethereum to Velas. Ethereum to Velas is only stablecoin. That's your limit there. And that's when Velas Wallet comes into play. That's it, guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you uh, get stuff moving around between the blockchains, guys. And if you like the content, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.